Okay, we got snow. Yesterday, it was raining all day. So, this is definitely an improvement. Still not ideal, but it is pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively apologize for raindrops on the lens. My visor is getting covered in water. But we have a video to make. So hopefully this video comes out okay and you guys enjoy the winter weather. Honestly, I don't mind riding in this kind of weather when I have the proper gear, namely my heated gloves. I'll leave this link down below because these have been a game changer for me. I absolutely love these gloves. A little bit expensive, but they work. Where am I going? Uh, uh, let's go, let's go east. And before diving into this, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. I don't need to tell you how important online security is. Everything from fraud to annoying unsolicited emails is a breach of your private information and security. This is where Aura, today's sponsor, can help protect you. They are your all-in-one internet security hub. They offer fraud alerts, VPN for secure browsing. They can monitor your passwords and notify you on any data breaches, malware protection for all of your devices, and my favorite, getting your personal information back from online data brokers. Data brokers buy and sell your personal data to the highest bidder, exposing you to unwanted spam emails, robocalls, and targeted advertisements. Aura will identify those data brokers and automatically send opt-out requests on your behalf. You can use my link, aura.com slash NPL, to try two weeks for free and see how many data brokers are sharing your personal information. Link is below the video, or you can scan the QR code to get started. Okay, so before the camera gets too wet, today's topic. There is actually an update to the Telaria. You guys know the Telaria. This is the the number one competition to the Suron. It's basically a carbon copy. And for the longest time, I've been very anti-Telaria. You guys know that I like the Suron, but I don't like the Telaria, mostly because it's not different enough. It's essentially exactly the same thing as a Suron, but with a gearbox that needs oil changes. So completely pointless to me. But I came across information of a new update coming to the Telaria that has the potential to completely change the game. And it actually makes the bike not just different, but better than the Suron in all the ways that really matter. Although it still has the gearbox, unfortunately. But I guess some people do like that. I don't know why, what's wrong with you. I know it replaces the belt drive, but I mean, honestly, a belt is less maintenance than a gearbox with oil changes. And stay tuned till the end because there's actually a second concept to Laria that's going to be hitting the market soon that might be even more appealing to some of you guys out there. So more on that later on in the video. So this new update to the Telaria, the 2023 model, it's called the MX-4. That's the name of this iteration. And I want to say right off the bat, I'm not sure if this model is going to be for sale in the U.S. because I gathered this information from the U.K. site, the distributor, whatever you want to call it, and the Canadian distributor. To my knowledge, eBikezilla is the U.S. distributor, and I didn't see any mention of this model on their website. But regardless, this new MX-4 model, ooh, nice Rivian electric Amazon delivery van. Do you guys have these where you live? Here in Jersey, by New York City, they have completely replaced gasoline vans for Amazon. For the past couple months, I haven't even seen a single gas Amazon van. Pretty awesome. Okay, but back on topic, what's new? Well, it's a pretty major upgrade, this MX-4 model. So, beginning with the power, this is one of the uh, major aspects of a bike. You guys know that the old Telaria, as well as the Suron, they're both exactly the same, 6,000 watts peak, 3,000 nominal. But with this new Telaria MX-4 model, oh my gosh, my brakes. The peak power is actually 8,000 watts, nominal 4,000. That's a power boost of like 30% or 20%, something like that. That's 
extremely meaningful. Um, you know what? That is a big tree. Let's go this way. Pay no mind to me. Yeah, so a nice power upgrade. 8,000 watts of peak power. I like that. That's going to reduce the need that people feel to want to dump a bunch of money into their bikes to upgrade it. Having 8,000 watts of power straight out of the box is going to satisfy uh, a wider audience of people, in my opinion. The next major component is the battery, and this too has seen a pretty major upgrade. So previously, again, it was the same exact capacity as the Suron, 60 volts, 38 amp hours. It's still 60 volts, unfortunately. They didn't upgrade to 72 volts or anything like that. But the capacity saw a pretty major boost from 38 amp hours to 45 amp hours. So that's going to give you a solid range boost. And I would say it complements the more power-hungry motor as well. I'm going to do another intermission here to check the camera lens for water. All right, the camera lens looked pretty dry. Hopefully, uh... The footage is coming out okay. But to finish up on this MX4 model, oh gosh, my visor. I know you guys can't see my visor, but it is so foggy and so wet, I can't see through it. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, so to finish up on the upgrades, they're also changing out the brake rotors. This is smaller stuff, but they're gonna be uh, 220 millimeters front and back. Okay, my visor needs to be shut even though I can't see through it. And, oh yeah, also the seat post. This is a, a big difference. Where am I? They're changing the design of the seat post because apparently people were complaining that the, it was too sloped. And I don't have a Teleria, but I can definitely agree that with my bike seat, it's adjustable. And it has to be a very specific angle, otherwise I find it uncomfortable. And with the old Teleria, I think the back was tilted too high up. So with this new model, they're evening it out a bit more to hopefully make the bike more comfortable. Yeah, so that's the latest upgrade to the Teleria, the MX4 model. It's finally different than the Suron, better in a lot of ways, but I'm not sure if it's coming to the US. But even if this bike doesn't come to the US, I still have hope because I saw another Teleria that's going to be coming out, I think in June. This bike is called the X3 and it's pretty different than the existing Teleria. But it has my attention. So compared to what's on the market now, this one's a little bit smaller and cheaper. So the weight from what I saw is only going to be 120 pounds. So much lighter than the closer to 150 of the standard Telaria Sting. Also, as you probably noticed, the design is radically different. What do you guys think of it? I kind of like it. It looks even more sleek, modern small compact you should be able to get away riding it like an e-bike having such a low profile the peak power on this bike is supposed to be 5000 watts so a little bit of a step down from even the existing telaria which again has a peak of 6000 watts the battery is still 60 volts but i'm seeing two different capacity versions one of 25 amp hours and another of 40 amp hours pretty substantial but the price tag is why you would buy this bike it comes in at about a thousand bucks cheaper than the existing Teleria and Suron at roughly thirty five hundred dollars what do you guys think of that package oh my gosh I am getting really cold I know I was just raving about these heated gloves and they're doing great but even so my thumbs are beginning to freeze I'm gonna try my best to I should get my hands on this bike when it comes out and review it. Hopefully I can be one of the first to actually publish some content on this bike because it's not that expensive. Again, only about 3,500 bucks and you get most of the performance. Why did the side watches end? You get most of the performance of uh, a Suron. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna roll with this. Whew. Ugh. Urban free riding. Oh yeah, and this also fixes the biggest thing I don't like about the, uh, I guess, the regular Telaria. This doesn't have that annoying gearbox. It has a primary belt drive and a secondary chain drive. So exactly the same, or at least very similar to 
the drive system in a Suron. I like this bike. I think this could uh, really be a game changer. Uh, there's so much ice going into my face. The only potential negative thing I saw on this bike, and keep in mind that the bike is still a concept. It's not coming out until I think June-ish is a figure that I saw on one of the websites. But I saw on a bullet point somewhere that the battery may not be removable. And if that's the case, that is rather unfortunate. I hope if Telerio is watching this and they're still developing the bike, uh, make that removable, please. And if you do that, then this bike for 3,500 bucks is a game changer, in my opinion. But stay tuned for the channel. Once it comes out, I'm gonna try my best to review it, make some content on it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna head home before my heated gloves run out of battery because once that happens, my comfort is gonna swiftly go downhill. If you guys are still watching and enjoyed, I always appreciate a like, a subscribe. It greatly helps out the channel and it's much appreciated. With all that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.